Guys, welcome back. What is good? How are you doing? Guess what, guys? I've got good news. Uh, it's not really the news you think I'm going to share, but I did get a new audio interface. And uh, no, I'm not sponsored by them. Univ I got a, a Universal Audio Vault 2. It's a two-in, two-out audio interface because I don't need any more inputs and outputs than that and I'm trying to save some money and yeah it's under 200 US dollars which is pretty good and uh, so far I like it um, seems if you're kind of like the in case you guys were curious because like audio interfaces that's part of what we do um, when we're working with Ableton I mean I guess you kind of don't need one if you just only work on your laptop and you've got headphones you know um, but yeah uh, what I, what I, uh, <laughs> the intel I've gathered is if you are on the market for one, you know, you, you really don't need more than two in and two out. I would say probably go with two in, two out. So then you could record vocals with the mic and then you could record like a guitar or something at the same time. Or who knows, maybe you and your friend both want to play and jam on guitar. So two in, two out is good. You can spend under 200 US dollars and get a, really good piece of equipment. It seems like the two top ones are Universal Audio Volt 2, which is what I got. And then the other company is a company that made the other audio interfaces that I've used, Focusrite. And that's the Focusrite um, Scarlet, I believe, two in, two out. And I decided to go with the Universal Audio because I know they make really good stuff. And uh, yeah, I was like, why not try a different one? And I got a little bit scared when I set it up. Oh, and by the way, spoiler alert, guys, it didn't solve the audio dropouts. I'm not even gonna call it clicks and pops. Clicks and pops is what happens when the audio does drop out. But yeah, it's the audio dropping out and it still happens. And uh, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I've, I've, I've accepted that I'm gonna probably have these audio dropout problems and I've accepted that I'm just gonna figure it out at some point and I'm gonna keep trying and it's not gonna bother me and I hope it's not too obtrusive because we're gonna start with collision and then probably finish with tension. Uh, those are Ableton Live Native devices. And uh, actually, I just got a lot better at collision because when I was watching back the last SDHO, I just had these things pop into my head and I'm like, oh my God, I, I think I can get a lot more out of Collision and teach it even better to you guys. And we're gonna be messing around with this noise section. Um, and so I'm really excited. So if there are clicks, pops and dropouts, um, it wasn't too bad on the last one and I've made some changes. Maybe now I'm just trying to mitigate it a little bit. Uh, maybe it could be, I'm, gonna, I'm about to get a new microphone cable sent in the mail. It's taken a few days because I wanted it to be like a colored, microphone so I microphone cable so maybe the fact that I've only had one mic cable and I bought it when I bought all of this stuff in like 2013 so who knows it could be that I'm also thinking about getting a new power strip down there maybe it's like an old power strip that is cutting in and out I really don't know but I mean I'm I'm gonna figure it out at some point so we should probably jump into collision because I'm really excited to talk to you guys and so um, I hope you're all doing very well. Now, as you guys know with Collision, um, the most important piece is this resonator. So if resonator is off and you hit a button, you're not gonna hear anything. So resonator has to be on. And then the next thing you would wanna choose is any of these resonators. Uh, we played with Beam and Marimba last time. Um, and there's all these other ones, which we'll get into. But before we do, I'm actually just gonna click it over on marimba, which sounds very similar to beam, but I actually found that when I do the tweakings, I actually like the marimba sound better. We'll go to the other ones later, but right now I wanna actually focus on the noise section. So I guess by default, I don't know if, if this is how yours is, cause like you can actually, um, if you right click on any of the instruments, you can uh, save as default preset. So I don't know if yours has noise on or off, but what I found, and I wanna introduce this to you is, I found that I actually, I didn't think I was getting a lot out of noise. So like you actually have to have one of these on or you won't hear anything. And so mallet is what you would normally go with. Noise, even when you turn it on, you don't hear much of like a difference. And that's actually what I noticed is because of these ADSR 
um, properties, which we all know, attack, decay, sustain, release. So if we were an operator here, you know, right here, your attack, decay, release, you got this nice little envelope. But sometimes when this envelope is not there, sometimes like you almost kind of forget like how it's set up. You know, and right now on the default, the collisions ADSR is basically like set to this. So like you're really not hearing much of anything. It's like a very short decay, only 10 seconds. You're not really hearing much. That's why it seems like it's not doing a lot. So you either want to really move out your decay or you want to have sustain all the way up, which is kind of like the same thing. And when you hold it down, it holds at its full volume. So um, going back into collision, uh, we're gonna turn noise on because we want it, but when we look down here, no attack, decay of only 16 milliseconds, so you're really not he hearing much of it. Now, if you crank up this volume, you will hear it, but it's only happening at the very small end. So just to illustrate that, and this is actually a really cool device, um, we're not gonna use, we're just using it for demonstration purposes, but when we drop down envelope MIDI, let's, re let's recreate this just so you can see what this ADSR, and this is the default, so I'm assuming this is what yours is like. So it's no decay, or excuse me, no attack. The decay is 16, and the sustain is zero. <laughs> And the release is basically like nothing. So like that's that's what this envelope looks like visualized. So take a look at what happens now. When I'm when I it's gonna sound the same if I crank sustain all the way up as if I had no sustain and decay all the way up. Just wanted to show that that's like basically the same thing. In terms of the sound. hear that so like when you think about collision what comes to mind is a marimba you know you know what a marimba looks like and a lot of times when someone plays a marimba which it's a broader family of instruments is mallet percussion a lot of times you know the marimba players are like hitting it really fast like they're not just going like boom 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 but it's like a so i want you to start thinking about noise as like adding, so like mallet is gonna affect like more of the uh, first part of the sound, like the attack portion and the noise, if you want it, you can think of it as like the tail, if you want there to be a tail, if you wanted to have that property of when people play marimbas and whatever the other instruments that are very similar to it, when they kind of have that like, you know, like that, that's what's it called, so. and we can adjust the volume. The filter frequency, it's set to low pass, which I think is good. Um, it's like, no, I don't want it that shrill. So I want to set it right. The default is pretty good. And then envelope amount will just accentuate um, its impact. So what I'll find is I'll, I'll if we, and if we turned mallet off, we don't need to turn off, we can just turn down the volume. Listen to how like the beginning part, the attack as you might call it, goes away. Good, and let's play with the uh, transposition of the tune. Oh, we had our first little audio dropout. Well, hopefully it's not... Hopefully you uh, don't go crazy on us today and we can get this wonderful production out because I think it's really good and people will be very happy with it. So... Okay, so what to do next? Well, let's play around with these settings. I notice when you take the material down, it takes off some of that higher end shrill out of it. And I always like more of a longer decay because I like long trails. Now listen to how nice that sounds. I like it. Now when we go back to uh, Marim, or, we're, oh, we were on beam? Now if we didn't have noise, we'd get rid of that. Now we want some release, so then it will continue to play when we take our hand off of it. Doesn't that sound nice? So I found that I was writing off noise because it wasn't doing a whole lot 
because I, I, I wasn't paying attention to the ADSR settings because I'm used to pretty much almost all the time when we have those ADSR settings, we have like a nice, we have the, the envelope out in front of us. And so oftentimes when, when the envelope isn't there, it's almost like visually we're, you know, and there's a lot of synthesizers where they don't give you a nice little, you know, visual representation, the envelope, the curve to it. And I was like, oh my God, like sustain is zero and decay is 16 milliseconds. So when we use it, all it's all it was really doing was um, just adding a 16 millisecond, which is incredibly short, as like a little noise burst at the beginning and really wasn't doing too much. And you, you know, you can almost get the same sound by adjusting some of these parameters in Mallet. And as we were going over it earlier or in the last SDHO, um, you can definitely tweak these. Uh, if you want, I found it didn't really matter that much. It was more or less what resonator we were on, the material settings here, the decay. And uh, yeah, if you want more of like a trail, more of like a decay to your sound and that kind of like mallet percussion thing as they play it. Sounds so good. Wonderful, I love it. So now we're gonna move on. Let's go to membrane. Membrane's a really good one. And, and what's a membrane? Uh, your skin. Uh, that is true, look it up. Do you know your biggest organ of the human body? Do you know what it is? It's your skin. Also called the epidermis, my friend. All right, so membrane is like a drum, a drum head, you know, so. Ooh, wow, gong anyone? Gong time anyone? Now what happens when we turn noise off? Do we get that really good ring out? Yeah, it's not as good without the noise. And then again, adjust the volume as you see fit. Probably a little bit too bassy. I, you get a little bit more bass with the membrane one I found. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, why did it drop out there? Who knows, it actually could just be upgrading to Mac OS Sonoma. I mean, it's been out for like nine months. <laughs> so it's not like it's like a brand new um, update. I don't know what it is, but uh, well, I'll be, I doubt it's the XLR mic cable, but I'll be replacing that. Yeah, see, look, it did it, and I'm not even running anything. Like, look, I, now GarageBand wants me error while trying to synchronize audio and MIDI. Sample rate, this record check conflict between GarageBand and external device. I'm telling you, I, I hate how Apple wants they update the software every, every year. Um, and I don't like to do that because I found in the past when I would update maybe Blender, the 3D computer graphics rendering engine that I use sometimes wouldn't work right with a new update. Maybe Blender wouldn't work right. And then I go into self-preservation mode. I'm like, you know, I don't want, uh, I don't want any possible errors. So I'm going to hide in my little cave and not exit into the light of day. <laughs> and then I summon up the bravery and the strength to do so. And then now I have problems. <laughs> but hey, I'm learning everything. Every single bit of my audio, video, recording setup is under scrutiny. I think it might have to do with the black hole that you have to use. It's the way you aggregate like multiple output sources. You have to do that on a Mac, a PC, you don't have to do it. 
And I have a feeling maybe it just doesn't, it isn't optimized to work, even though I have the most updated uh, version of Black Hole, which is what everyone uses on a MacBook if they're like doing streaming. It's 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 where, it's how you can like record your um, computer audio. So if like right now I'm not recording anything, right? But I'm just playing, but you can hear it. Let's go to, uh, let's go to plate, but you can hear it because, um, you know, it's recording any audio that my computer plays. So if I were to open up YouTube or something and play something, it would record that. It doesn't do that by default. You have to like set things up in Apple, which on, on your Mac, I'll be honest, I'm actually liking, finding myself liking Apple products less and less over the years. And it might be Mac OS, the new Mac OS. <laughs> so if you're like, well, hey, you know, in a couple months, they'll release the new Mac OS. Maybe that'll fix it. Well, that's actually why I did update in the first place, because the next Mac OS has the AI in it, and I don't want AI having access to like all of my stuff on my computer and watching me and analyzing my face and, oh, he seems happy when he looks at these things. Let's show him more of this. And then it's like, I don't know, it's like looking at all my art and like, dude, like, I just don't want any of that. I don't know. So I was like, maybe I'll like update just to ensure everything's up to date. So if I don't, if I'm not going to update Apple for a really long time, at least I'll be up to date, but I think it doesn't work. It's crazy because the guy that creates that free black hole program that everybody uses, I noticed that he has like a paid version called like zipper or something that you would download on the Mac store. It's uh, it's like a, a free trial, but then you have to pay for it. So like that's gonna be one of the, one of the next ones. As soon as I get my new mic cable, um, which I'm sure it's not that, but again, I'm gonna replace everything. I'm even gonna get another like a uh, channel strip down there to like, even though I'm not even having to plug the audio interface into. And again, <laughs> I got a new audio interface and it's not it. Luckily, the audio interface was free because I bought it on Amazon and I had Amazon dollars that I have just sitting there, so I was able to buy it for free um, and the mic cable for free. And to be honest with you, I do like the vault. So before we get back into collision and we'll play around with plate, which is kind of interesting. It almost, plate almost kind of sounds like a mix between like the beam and the marimba and like the membrane kind of has similar qualities. And then I'll play with some of my favorite ones, tube and pipe, and then we'll briefly jump into tension. I look forward to taking tension to the next level. I thought I had collision all figured out, but now I'm realizing that I'm having like an amazing new good experience with it because you just play with it enough. I also think this pitch envelope can be interesting, even though whenever I use it, unless you want like very pronounced pitch shifty sounds, it kind of has like a synthesizer -y sound, which kind of goes against why you would be using collision because you're trying to mimic like a physical object, like some sort of mallet percussion, like a marimba. And I'm also kind of interested to go into, um, you know, using Resonator 2. Cause that's like actually like kind of what it's trying to do. Like think about an actual like marimba. You've got these little like beams and then what's underneath those beams, right? What's underneath those beams is you've got pipes and tubes, you know, those tubes that go down. And then you can either right here, you can either have the audio from resonator one, then get fed into the, the pipe, which is what I'm assuming is kind of like what a marimba does, or you can just, sum them both together, but you don't need to do that. And I found like there's crazy loud volume spikes that can happen when you're like piping these into each other and you're cranking the settings. So for now, I like these sounds and let's, uh, let's go to uh, plate. By the way, this is what we had for membrane. I found I kind of like when these materials are like set down kind of low. For some reason, when you move them up, they get like higher and more shrill. And it seems like a lot of the, uh, base, like the body kind of gets cut out. So I kind of like it down here. And you know, I always like as long of a decay as possible. I love when sounds just ring and evolve. And that's probably just because that's my preferences. So here's uh, the membrane. And then let's go to plate. See, <laughs> kind of has more of like that, uh, beam marimba -y sound, but also kind of like a body, more of like a body like we were getting with the uh, membrane. And if it doesn't sound like that to you when I describe these things, that's fine. You know, I heard someone when I was learning sound design, they were like, they're like, in no time, you'll eventually have your own vocabulary of these
bizarre. See, look, it, it cut out and like nothing was happening in Ableton. So it's not a CPU issue. And when I upgraded to OS Sonoma, um, this yellow button got added. Everyone hates it because it's so bright and obnoxious, but I'm actually thankful for it because um, when these issues happen, it drops out, you know, and uh, this is like what you're recording with the microphone, you know, like what, what your um, audio is doing. And when it's dropping out, it means there's a dropout. I, it's, it's not the audio interface because it's a new audio interface. And which means it's either got to be black hole, uh, which I need in order to record my computer sound. Um, but I also uh, recorded a video without using black hole and recording all of my audio um, through the resampling, which is not a good method because it, I, allow, I can't hit the space bar because it'll stop the recording. So I'm like, I don't think it's the black hole audio, um, you know, that, that I need. And then I was like, well, maybe it's QuickTime because QuickTime, you know, if you're on a Mac is what you would like record your screen record. Like, look, it, it just cut out again and, and like <laughs> nothing's happening in Ableton. You know what I mean? It's like, oh man, it's, it's nuts, but I'm going to figure it out eventually. And I know you guys watching are like, hell yeah, we want it to work. We want it to work, you know? And, and so we got a lot of good energy moving that way. And no, I'm not going to blame it on Mercury retrograde, which began on August 5th, because this started happening like in the middle of July. So, um, <laughs> but maybe it was because the Mercury retrograde was in its shadow period right then. What about that, Gemini? I don't think you, you uh, thought about them things. I just don't know. But it hasn't been too obtrusive and annoying. And <laughs> so I don't know, maybe it's the microphone cable. I doubt it, but we'll try that out. And, uh, I'll even try that dude who make black hole, who's got his paid product. I'll even give that a whirl, see if that happens. And then if I literally do everything, then like it's got to be some sort of fault with the uh, the new Mac operating system, which would really suck. Um, I am probably going to get a new MacBook because I want more power for my 3D computer graphics rendering in Blender. And so I was like, oh, that might be a good time to upgrade and get get the get the newest possible macbook pro before they come shipped with the new os in october that's gonna have the ai because i don't want that shit between you and ah uh, because who knows maybe he's like well now most people on macs are using the m1 chips so maybe like when black hole got updated it's updated for like the m1 chips or something and like the intel ones and that's why it's happening i don't know but we'll figure it out so um yeah collision um <laughs> It's too shrill. I don't like that sound. Let's turn off noise. Take the frequency down. Yeah. I'm not really liking it. We'll do string because someone's like, come on, do string. Kind of synthesize your sound. You kind of like a... When you're not liking your sound, play it across different octaves. But if you're on like a laptop keys, then like you, you would just adjust the tuning here like I was doing. Let's play with the material settings. Like listen to what it's doing right now. The CPU isn't spiking, it's at 20%. sound like without the noise so that sounds nice right but with the noise now we have this and that's what I learned that's why I knew that I had to come on here and talk with you guys because like this adds a whole nother dimension to collision and you might be like hey I already knew there was the noise yeah but I wasn't getting the right and proper um, sound I didn't know how to make you know, good sounds with it, but now I do. 
And uh, yeah, so I really love that. And before we move on to tension, um, I really love pipe and tube. Pipe and tube are very similar. And you know the difference. So we right we're on pipe. Look, it's all the same. But look at this opening right here. Now look when I go to tube. So you almost could say it's they're the same, except this one has an opening. So let's do with tube first. Now let's go to pipe. Sounds very familiar. Tube. Pipe. But now let's play with the only thing that's different is this opening. And so you can turn a really low and then get some like crazy bass. What do you need to tell me, GarageBand? Error. Thirty-seven two two nine sample rate. That's like what? What are you even talking about? Like, what does that even mean? Like, that doesn't. Luckily, it didn't stop recording in GarageBand. Otherwise, I would be in trouble. Because look, if you see, it's still recording. It hasn't stopped. I don't know. I did see something in GarageBand. It's. I actually was recording vocals in an, I thought it was like GarageBand's fault, you know, so I started recording my vocals in an earlier version of Ableton. You can have multiple versions of Ableton open, but that didn't help. I don't know what it's talking about. Um, yeah, I don't know what's talking about like sample rate or whatever, you know, and that's not even like a sample rate that you would even have. Like you basically, you, you have these, you know, um, and so all of my stuff is at the same sample rate of this one, 44.1. I then even tried everything at 48,000. Same thing happened. So I'm like, I'm trying everything here. Wow. Well, pray that this happens. And luckily, we've been doing great things today. So um, I don't want to let it ruin a really good production. And it'll take a lot longer for me because each time it happens, um, you know, I'm, I'm recording my, uh, me talking with my face with my iPhone on a uh, tripod right over there. And so it's constantly recording and not doing this. So each time these dropouts happen, um, when I have my audio line, you know, it just moves off. But how annoying is that? Like it's happening and like nothing's happening other than the sound coming out. So, oh boy. Um, but I think it's been a fantastic one so far with Collision. So let's just play a little bit more with Pipe and Tube and then let's move off. And like, honestly, you guys go play around with it. I'm going to play around with this pitch on, but give it like a... Wow, sounds like a, like a plane or something. Yeah, it's annoying, it doesn't matter. Sounds like a good one to modulate. And you could do that in the LFO setting or just do your own LFO. And then let's go to tube. Maybe like there's no reason to use tube if it's the same thing with pipe without that setting. I'm sure it sounds different. And look at this voice is mono because maybe I don't want to have a bunch of like... Oh, that... that... even think this number changed I did know I mean it's not GarageBand so like you know because obviously I recorded using something else but I did notice under the audio and MIDI it says reset MIDI drivers you know even though I'm not using any MIDI like would that do something I'm literally trying everything you know what I mean it's so crazy it's like fast forward to like two months from now and I'm like guys I tried everything 
and I only have one more thing left to try. I think I'm going to move to another place because that's the only other thing. The place is haunted. The energetics are screwed up. And then I'm like, I moved, guys. <laughs> it's not moving. It's not physically moving to another place to live. <laughs> and you're like, what else could it be? And notice how it happens just now. I'm telling you guys, it's the energies. Oh my God, you got to stop this. 34289. I think it's like, chain. what well, didn't it say 347 last time? <laughs> I'm just glad it didn't stop recording because then we could be... We, then we could be in trouble. Oh shit. Wait, is it not recording? Hello, 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 hello. I don't know. I can't really tell. Um, I can't really tell, but it's, yeah, this is, this sucks, dude. And it's funny too. Cause like, if you're like, oh, it's probably just like, you're, it's because you're using QuickTime. I'm like, no, dude, I uh, bypassed QuickTime and I recorded in OBS. Uh, I learned to try to fix this and it's not that either. Um, 34560, it's another number. It's, yeah, I don't know what's happening, man. I think it might be Sonoma. <laughs> this is really sad because I kind of wanted to get into tension, but I think we'll save it for the next SDHO. So I love you guys. God bless. Send your thoughts and prayers that whatever the issue is will just come to me. <laughs> I'm trying things every day. Um, the only other thing I can maybe think of is... Um, in the audio MIDI setup for this like black hole... It says internal fixed. So maybe if I do internal adjustable, would that maybe do it? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if internal adjust. I mean, like, that's like the only other thing I didn't screw with. So yeah, I have to make this like multi output device. So that's my audio interface there. No, see, it's doing it already. And then I have to have black hole underneath it. So it's like, I, I, I'm doing everything. Um, yeah, I don't know. And I did play with the higher sample rate. So I'm not too sure. Um, I've got my vault on two channel, 24 bit. I'll try 16 bit, but like GarageBand's recording at 24 bit. I'm pretty sure Ableton does 24 bit. You wouldn't want to do 16 bit. Like, you know, so like, I don't know, man, but why do I get into it? Well, hell, this is shit you run into. Can you imagine? Like, I don't know, whatever. Uh, Maybe that dude was like, yo, all these people are using my black hole thing for free. I can't even afford rent. And so like, I'm going to create like a paid version because I need to get paid. And uh, maybe people will go there and I'll, you know what I mean? But I don't know. I was looking it up on online and uh, it doesn't seem like it's littered with people having issues. And again, <laughs> Oh, man. Well, anyways, man, I really enjoyed this. Uh, I've been really enjoying Collision, and I'm so glad that I'm able to share all of that with you, the new cool things that I've learned. And um, I know this will improve. Everything will improve. Anything going on in your life will improve, even if it takes time. Like, I've had a lot of things going on that I always want there to be a quick fix, and I hate when it's just unresolved because I feel like I can't relax until it gets resolved. And so I feel like that's what I've been working on for the last two months. Like, oh no, a problem with the air conditioner. And then that takes multiple weeks to fit, to come to a conclusion. And then this thing takes a couple of weeks. And I guess that's where I am. But it is annoying that it drops out even when I'm not even using Ableton, which is just like ridiculous. <laughs> you know, um, look, yeah, 3595. So the sample rate is like moving up and down. Uh, it just keeps changing every time, so it would appear that it is not this, uh, internal adjustable. Looks like it wasn't that, because the same exact thing happened, so it's like, okay, great, I cro 